live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reInvent 2019. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services and Intel, along with its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE from Las Vegas. We are live at AWS reInvent 19. Lisa Martin with John Furrier. We've been having lots of great conversations. John, we're about to have another one because we always love to talk about customer proof in the pudding. Please welcome a couple of guests. We have Rafael Mejia, Director of Analytics and Data Management from AAA Life. Welcome. Thanks for having me, really appreciate it. Our pleasure. And from Merkel, Anker Jane, the SVP of Cloud Platforms. Welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. So here we are in this, I don't, can the, the sea of people around us is, is growing exponentially by the hour here. But Anker, let's start with you. Give yes. our audience an understanding of Merkle, who you are and what you do. Yeah, absolutely. So Merkle is a global performance marketing agency. We're part of uh, Dentsu Edges Network, and uh, it's almost about 9,000 to 10,000 people worldwide. It's a global agency. What differentiates Merkle from the rest of the other marketing agencies is our deep roots in data-driven approach. We embrace technology. Uh, it's embedded in all, all our solutions that we take to market. Um, and that's what we pride ourselves with. So um, that's basically a high level pitch about Merkle, what differentiates us. My role, uh, I lead the cloud transformation for Merkle. Um, uh, basically think of my team as the think tanks who bring in the new technology, come up with a new way of rolling out solutions, productized solutions, uh, disruptive solutions, which helps our clients and big fortune brands, such as AAA Life Insurance, uh, to transform their marketing ecosystem. So let's go ahead, I think a lot of folks probably know AAA Life, yeah. but, but Rafael, give us a little bit of an overview. This is a 50 year old organization. It is, so, so we celebrate our 50th, 50 year anniversary this year actually. We were founded in 1969. So AAA Life Insurance, we endeavor to be the provider of choice uh, for AAA members to help them protect what matters most to them. And we offer a diverse set of insurance products across just about every channel. Um, and um, we engage with Merkel, uh, earlier the, um, in 2018 actually, to, to, uh, to build a nice solution that allows us to even better serve the needs of the members. Uh, my role, I, am the, I lead our analytics and data management work, so helping us uh, collect data, manage better, and better leverage it to support the needs of members. So a tr I can't even imagine the volumes of data that you're dealing with, but it's also, this is people's data, right? This is about insurance, it is. life insurance. It is. But the volume of it, how have you, what were some of the things that you said, all right guys, we need to change how we're managing the data because we know there's probably a lot more business value, maybe new services, if we can get our hands on it and our eyes on it. So, so, that, was, so that was it. So as an organization, uh, I, I want to underscore what you said. We make no compromises when it comes to the safety of our, of our members' data, and we take every step possible to ensure that it is managed in a responsible and safe way. But we knew that on, on the platform that we had prior to this, we weren't, a, we weren't as agile as we wanted to be. We would find that certain processes would take spans of weeks in order to operate or to run, and that just didn't allow us to provide the member experience that we wanted. So we built this new solution, and this solution updates every day, right? There's no longer multi-week cycle times, and some of our processes happen in real time, which allows us to go to market with more accurate and more uh, responsive can, um, programs to our members. Can you guys talk about the Amazon, so AWS solution, how you guys using Amazon, is it Redshift, Kinesis, you guys losing multiple databases? Give us a, uh, a peek into the Amazon services that you guys are taking advantage of. Take that anchor? Yeah, please. Um, so, basically when we were approached by AAA Live to kind of come in and you know, present ourselves, our credentials, one thing that differentiated there in that solution pitch was uh, bringing Amazon to the uh, forefront. Because cloud, you know, one of the issues that Rafael and his team were facing were scalability aspect. You know, the performance was, was not up to the par. I believe you guys were um, on a two week cycle, that data yeah. was refreshed every two weeks. And how can we turn that around? You know, it can only be possible through, you know, disruptive technologies that Amazon brings to the forefront. So what we built was, basically it's a complete Amazon-based cloud native architecture. Uh, we leveraged AWS Redshift as uh, the data warehouse platform to integrate basically billions and billions of rows from 100 plus sources that we are bringing in on a daily basis. In fact, actually some of the sources are refreshed on a 
real-time basis. We are catching real-time interactions of users on the website and then letting AAA Life make real-time decisions on how to actually personalize their experience. So AWS Redshift, you know, definitely the center, centerpiece. Then we are also leveraging a cloud-native ELT technology, extract load and transform technology called Matillion. It's a third-party tool, but again, a very cloud-native technology. So the whole solution leverages Python to some extent, and then Ravel can talk about AI and machine learning, that how they are leveraging AWS ecosystem there. Yeah, so that was, um, so uh, I Anchor said it right, one thing that differentiated Merkle was that cloud-first approach, right? Uh, we looked at what uh, all of the, um, Analysts were saying, we went to all the key vendors in the space, we saw the, we saw the architectures, and when Merkle walked in and presented that, um, that AWS architecture, it was great for me because the technology immediately made sense. There was no wizardry around, I hope this database scales. I was confident that Redshift and Lambda and Dynamo would scale to our use cases, so it became a lot more about are we solving the right business problem and less about do we have the right technologies? So in addition to what Anchor mentioned, we're leveraging R, so we're leveraging R in our studio um, in AWS as well as Tableau for, for our machine learning models and for our business intelligence. And uh, more recently we've started transition from R to uh, Python. As a practitioner on the keynote today, slew of new things, SageMaker, Studio, an IDE for machine learning framework. I mean, this is like a common sense, like finally. I couldn't have been more excited, right? It, that, that was my Super Bowl moment. <laughs> um, I was, I was, uh, asked, I was so we were actually at dinner yesterday and I was mentioning to Anker, this is my wish list, right? I want AWS I, to make a greater investment in that end user data scientist experience in AutoML and they knocked it out of the park. Everything they announced today, yeah. I was just, I was texting Fred, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. That was, it was, I'm, I can't wait to go and play And there's with a lot it. of nuances too in a lot of these announcements. AutoML, for instance. Yeah. Really big deal the way they did it. And again, the IDE, who would have thought? I mean, this is duh. Why didn't we think about this sooner? Yeah, with AutoML, that, uh, that focus on transparency, right? And then I think about a year ago, we went to market and we ended up not choosing any solutions because they hadn't solved for, once you've got a model built, how do you effectively migrate it from, let's say, an analyst who might not have the, the ML expertise to a data science team, and the fact that AWS understood out of the gate that you need that transparency yeah. for it, I'm just really excited for that product. What do you think the impact's going to be? More uptake on the data science side? What do you think the, uh, the impact of this and the? So I think, for, I think we're going to see um, that a lot of our use cases are going to require a lot less effort to spin up. So we're going to see much more, much faster pilots. We're going to have a much clearer sense of is this worth, is this something we should continue to invest in and something we should drive? And I expect that a lot, much larger percentage of my team, the analysts, are going to be involved in data, in data science and machine learning. So I'm really excited about that. And also the ability to, in, to integrate best practices into what we're doing out of the gate, right? So software engineers figured out profiling, they figured out debugging, and these are things that machine learners are picking up now. The and fact that these are front and center is really exciting. I mean, Super Bowl moment, you could be like the New England Patriots. Yeah. 17 straight AFC uh, <laughs> championship games. The Boston guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, They're all Seattle. Don't get those They're all Detroit. Seattle here in Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even bring Seattle Patriots up here okay. at Amazon, <laughs> Amazon World. <laughs> We are the ESPN of tech news, so we have to get in yeah, yeah, uh, a sports yeah. conversation. But I want to kind of talk a little bit, Raphael, about the transformation, because presumably in, in every industry, especially in insurance, yeah. there are so many born in the cloud companies that are a lot smaller, they're a lot more agile, and they are chasing what AAA life and your competitors and your peers are doing. Yeah. What you're es establishing yeah. with the help of Anker and Merkel, how does this allow you to actually take the data that you had, expand it, but also extract insights from maybe competitive advantages that you couldn't think about before? Yeah, so I think, uh, so as an organization, even though we're 50 years old, one of the things that drew me to the company that was really exciting is it's not an organization that's resting on its laurels, right? I think there's tremendous hunger and appetite within our executive group to better serve our members and to serve more members. And what this technology has allowed is the technology is not a limiting factor, it's an enabling factor. So we're able to produce more models, more performant models, process more of our data, build more features. Um, we've managed to do away with a lot of the, you know, if you take it and you look at it this way and squeeze it, and maybe it'll work. 
and systematize more aspects of our reporting and our campaign development and our model development and the observability, the visibility, just the ability to be agile and, and have our data be a partner to what we're trying to accomplish, that's been really great. You talked about the significant reduction in cycle times. If we go back up to the executive suite, from a business differentiation perspective, is the senior leadership at AAA understanding what this cloud infrastructure is going to enable their business to achieve? Absolutely, so, so our successes here, I think, have been instrumental in encouraging our organization to continue to invest in cloud, and, uh, we're, and act, we're actively considering and discussing additional cloud initiatives, especially around the areas of machine learning and AI. And now, Ankur, question for you, in terms of, of your expertise and your experience, as we look at how cloud is changing, John, you know, educate us on cloud 1.0, cloud 2.0, AI, machine learning. Yes. What are, as, as these, as businesses, as industries have the opportunity yes. to, for next gen cloud, what are some of the next industries that you think are really prime to be completely transformed? Um, I mean, there are so many different business models. If you look around, one thing I would like to actually touch upon, what we are seeing from Merkel's standpoint, is the digital transformation. You know, how customers in today's world, they are, you know, how brands are engaging with their customers and how customers are engaging with the brands, especially their expectations. Customer is at the center stage here. They are the ones who are driving the whole customer engagement journey, right? How I am browsing a catalog of a particular brand on my cell phone and then I actually purchase right then and there. And if I have an issue, I can call them or I can go to social media and log a complaint. So that's whole multi-channel you know, aspect of this marketing ecosystem these days. I think cloud is the platform which is enabling that, right? This cannot happen without cloud. I mean, look at, Rafael was just describing, you know, real-time interaction, real-time understanding the behavior of the customer in real-time and engaging with them based on their need at that point of time. If you have technologies like SageMaker, if you have technologies like AWS Redshift, if you have technologies like Glue, Kinesis, which lets you bring in data from all these disparate sources and give you the ability to derive some insights from that data in that particular moment, and then interact with the customer right then and there, that's exactly what we are talking about. And this can only happen through cloud. Awesome. So, so that's my two cents over there. What we, from Merkel standpoint, we are looking into the market. That's what we are helping our brands to do. As a client, I completely agree. I think that the change from capital to operation, right, to no longer have to know, these are all the sources and all the use cases and everything that needs to happen before you start the project and the ability to say, hey, let's get going, yeah. let's deliver value in the way that we've had and continue to have conversations and deliver new features, new sources, new functionality, and at the same time having AWS as a partner who's, who's building an incremental value. Yeah. I think just last week I was really excited with the changes they've made to integrate SageMaker with their databases so you can score from the, directly from the database. Right. So it feels like all these things are coming together to allow us as a company to, to better accomplish our aims. Yeah. It's an exciting time. It is exciting. Well guys, I wish we had more time, but we are out of time. Thank you, Raphael and Anchor, for sharing Thank with you. Thanks for us having us. what Merkel and AAA Thank you. It's a pleasure to chat with you. Thanks Thank for having you us. Pleasure. All right, take care. For Thank John you. Furrier, I'm Lisa Martin, and you're watching theCUBE from Vegas. reInvent 19. We'll be right back. <laughs>